All right, so we have the number of regular season wins for 10 football teams, and we want to find the range, where the range is just the largest value, which looks to be 15 minus the smallest value, so 15 minus 2. Excellent. Then it asks for the population mean. So I could get my calculator and add all these values up and divide by 10. Or I can be lazy and I can open this in StatCrunch because I like being lazy. And so it opens and then I can go up here to Stat, Summary Stats, and my data is in a column. So column, select variable 1 because it's variable 1. And then I get all this stuff that's highlighted here, and I'm like, okay, that looks good. So I hit compute, and I can see the mean is 8. So I put that in, and well done. So the population variance. So I see variance, and it says round to the nearest 100. Do you remember that? Tens, hundreds, two decimal places. So 20.67, and what happened? If you remember, if you remember, and you look on our nice little formula sheet, let's make it bigger for my blind eyes, is the variance, the population variance versus the sample variance. Notice here the population variance versus the sample variance. If I go back here, it is asking me for the population so the problem with StatCrunch is it automatically by default gives you, in this little thing right here, so back to variable one, it gives you automatically the variance and the standard deviation for the sample. All right, so once again, the sample, they're doing the N minus one on the bottom. So what I want to do is I want to force it, and if you scroll down here, there's an unadjusted variance and an unadjusted standard deviation, and that gives me the population. So now I can see it's 18.6. 18.6, I guess I need to put the zero there. Nice work. And then uh, four points, so the nearest tenth, one decimal place, 4.3. So that one's a little different because be sure you read these carefully that this one is the population. So even if you're doing it by hand, be sure you're doing the correct formula.